Well, some of our staff have been talking about this amazing recipe for days, and we are so thrilled to share it with you now. Allie Crow is the pastry chef, and she whips up desserts for both cinema and the hook over on 8th Avenue South. And we're excited about this blueberry pie. It has a pretzel crumble on it and it's just so good. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's uh, we put the pretzel crumble on it, you know, to kind of give it a little bit of a more modern twist instead of doing just a plain crumble, you know, on top of that. Yeah. And, and the blueberry filling is really easy to make. It's just something really easy to do at home. And folks are loving this over at the hook, aren't they? Oh, yes. All right. It's so one of our good sellers. We're starting off with a basic pie crust and this is, of course, you're making it from scratch. Right. But, but we don't have to. Yeah, if you're not a pastry chef, um, you know, you can just definitely use the Pillsbury cookie or the Pillsbury pie dough. Yeah, I uh, think that's those my Great. Oh, that's my favorite to use if I'm going to use store bought. Yeah. You know? And then always pre bake it. That's my that's my main thing. Always mm -hmm. pre bake it. Um, that way you won't have a soggy crust in the center. Okay. Good. So we've done that, and we've already started getting the blueberries cooking. You're using beautiful fresh blueberries and uh, cooked in sugar right here. Yes. We get our um, produce from Woodson Farms mm -hmm. um, here in Tennessee, and so they grow. They go down to Mississippi and Louisiana and go and get us some great produce. Nice. So we've got a okay. lot of that. And then we're going to strain this off. Uh, to kind of thicken things, right? Yeah, so we, um, for the pie filling, we're gonna strain it off into some cornstarch, um, some cardamom, and some salt to try and give us um, a nice little thick so it'll hold its shape when it's been cut. Now, for people who haven't cooked with cardamom before, tell me about that. Uh, cardamom is a really great um, spice. I use it a lot at home, uh, mostly because my husband, Chef V of the Hook, is Indian, mm -hmm. so I use a lot of that. I think it's great in savory and pastry applications, yeah. so I use a lot of that. At home, so using the cardamom in here is kind of an ode to him. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, it just adds a neat flavor, doesn't it? Yeah, it's All definitely. Right, is that going back in there? Uh, yes, we'll go okay. ahead and add this back in All here. Right. So you want to strain off your juices and use that just so as you kind of have your slurry. Then you just whisk everything together. So this is what cornstarch, cornstarch, uh, salt, and cardamom. Okay. I always add a little salt to pastry um, just to kind of bring out the sweetness of yeah. it. You know, it really balances it out. Okay. Um, so we have that, and then um, you know you'd put that back in into the pot and just kind of cook it for a few minutes just to cook out all the starch, so you don't okay. get that like weird starchy flavor. Yeah, that's yeah. In there. All right, so that's going to thicken up. So it's going to look like this. Yeah, it'll be really nice and beautiful. Um, just really nice and glossy and fits perfectly back in there. Okay. So. All right, we're going to make our pretzel crumble now. Yes. And you do this, um, you know, at the restaurant, what, in a food processor? Uh, no, I use a kitchen a mixer. mixer. Okay. Yeah. All right, but we're going to do it by hand today. We're going to do it by hand today. It's just really simple, you know, just to show that you don't have to use a mixer for everything. So we've got our flour, already chopped peanuts. Or got, pretzels. Or, I'm sorry, pretzels. Mm -hmm. Did I say peanuts? You yeah. can throw peanuts in here too. Yeah. You know. Or you said we could do pecans if we didn't like yeah. pretzels. Almonds are great with um, this kind of crumble as well. We're going to throw in some sugar. And so we kind of mix all that up together. So you just kind of throw that in there. You know, you can throw the pretzels in the mixer and they can already break it up for you. Yeah, but I just went idea. ahead and chopped it up by hand because let's just do that. And you, you know. used to make this pie with your dad. Yes, growing up, um, blueberry pie has always been his favorite. So I used to help my mom make the blueberry pie, mm -hmm. and then he'd go outside and make the ice cream. And oh, yeah. um, we do with the rock salt and do the hand crank, the old oh, school way. Love that. So we do that, and then so I'd help him with that. And then you know, as we got older, I started making more of the ice creams. So we started experimenting with that. Yeah. He's been a big inspiration on a lot of the baking that I do at the restaurant. How fun! So you get all the butter mixed in and everything, and then you know we get a sheet tray, and then you just kind of shake it out. And we'll just lay it out, and you can freeze it. Freezing it, you know, will keep the butter solidified mm -hmm. and everything, so that it'll kind of hold its shape when it's baking. Okay. And all the instructions for this are going to be on our website, uh, so you'll know exactly how to make this. The pie looks beautiful when it's all finished, and I'm sure it tastes fantastic as well. Um, you're going to be at William Sonoma tomorrow, teaching people how to make a, a wonderful recipe. Yes, we're going to do um, a honey cake, which smells amazing. Mm -hmm. We've got that with some fresh um, peaches and some vanilla ice cream because that's summer to me, right there. Okay, All that's noon to two at Green Hills, William Sonoma. Of course, people go to the hook for fabulous seafood, but they stay for the desserts, and that's because of you. Also, the desserts at Cinema as well. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. See the beautiful finished product over there. Run, don't walk over to the hook for Allie's blueberry pie. We're going to post that recipe online in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com.